subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Sure, let's dive into a tutorial on using the subprocess module in Python. Title, Getting Started with Subprocess in Python Introduction The subprocess module in Python allows you to spawn new processes, connect to their input-slash-output-slash-error pipes, and obtain their return codes. This is incredibly useful for interacting with external programs and executing system commands from within your Python scripts. Installation The subprocess module is part of the Python standard library, so there is no need for additional installation. You can start using it right away in your Python scripts. Basic Usage To use the subprocess module, you'll need to import it first. Here's a simple example of running an external command using subprocess. In this example, we use the subprocess.run function to execute the command. The shell equals true argument allows us to use shell syntax and stout and stare arguments capture the standard output and error streams. The text equals true argument ensures that the output is returned as a string. Handling input. You can also provide input to the subprocess by using the input parameter. In this example, we use the input parameter to pass the input underscore text to the subprocess. Conclusion The subprocess module is a powerful tool for executing external commands in Python. It allows you to interact with the system, run shell commands, and capture their output. With these basics, you can build more complex and interactive scripts that make use of external programs seamlessly. Feel free to explore the official documentation for more advanced features and options provided by the subprocess module. ChatGPT